Today on Afro Tech News, for the first time ever, black actors dominate the Emmys. Where is COVID-19 not her business? And Jeff Bezos' former wife donates millions to HBCUs. I'm Will Lucas for Afro Tech News. For the first time in its history, the Television Academy announced its most diverse lineup of nominations as black actors and actresses scored a record high of slots for the 2020 Emmy Awards, according to The Hollywood Reporter. As pointed out by Variety, 35 of 102 nominations went to black performers and artists this year, accounting for over 34% of its total nominees. The Television Academy Chairman and CEO Frank Skirma said, 2020 isn't just about the global health crisis. This year, we are bearing witness to one of the greatest fights for social justice in history, and it's our duty to use this medium for change. Among those nominated in the top acting categories are Sterling K. Brown, Anthony Anderson, Issa Rae, and Tracy Ellis Ross. Find out who else is nominated by reading the full story now at afrotech.com. The coronavirus pandemic pushed 45.7 million Americans to file for unemployment benefits at some point during the crisis, but some U.S. companies have not seen a negative impact on business as usual. The Census Bureau surveyed small business owners on the effects of the pandemic, and our partners at LendingTree analyzed the results to determine where business owners are feeling minimal ramifications. They found that business owners in the South and Southeast were most likely to report no negative effects resulting from the COVID-19 outbreak. Louisville tops the list with 17.9% of business owners reporting no negative effects on operations. About 3% of entrepreneurs in Louisville say the pandemic has actually had a positive impact on their business. Virginia Beach takes the number two spot where 16.6% .6 of business owners report no negative impact. Is your city on the list? Check out the full story now on afrotech.com to find out. In a post published to Medium, Mackenzie Scott, who was Amazon founder and CEO Jeff Bezos' former wife, pledged to donate a portion of her wealth to several organizations and institutions. The recipients include several HBCUs, among which is Howard University, which received $40 million, Hampton University, which received $30 million, and Tuskegee University, which received $20 million, among others. Scott said, I began work to complete my pledge with the belief that my life had yielded two assets that could be of particular value to others. The money these systems helped deliver to me and the conviction that people who have experience with inequities are the ones best equipped to design solutions. If you aren't subscribed to the Afrotech newsletter, are you really about that life? All the exclusive content and other subscriber only promotions can only be secured by becoming an Afrotech insider. Join for free now at join.afrotech.com. I'm Will Lucas. For the latest in black tech, business, and startup stories, visit afrotech.com.